Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to answer to the question of a follower, which is better, Nobara or PopSOS? So today I'm gonna test it like I test Cashiros last week. Let's get started. So what is PopSOS? It's a Linux distro made by System76. You put the base, but optimized for rapidity, fluidity, and simple use. It got the cosmic interface, no, not GNOME. There is a version with NVIDIA drivers. There is a App Store with a flat pack support. And it's a durable OS for developers, gamers, and simple work. So gaming on Pop! OS is actually pretty solid. Uh, Steam, Lutris and Heroic all work well. You can install them easily using Flatpak. It runs game smoothly, but not very. <laughs> With good performance sometimes. And it has a built-in tiling windows manager that I never use because it totally break my brain. It's not uh, focused on gaming as Nobara, for example, it doesn't come with a special gaming patches or pre-configure wine, but it's stable, fast and get out of your way. That makes it a great daily driver if you play games but also want a clean and reliable system. So yeah, PopOS might not be the most hardcore gamer distro, but it's a really smart choice if you want something that's easy, powerful and ready to go. And before the end of the install, I wanted to talk about Cosmic OS. While I was searching for information about PopOS, I found Cosmic OS. So what is it? Cosmic OS is the future of PopOS. It's a brand new operating system built by System76 completely from scratch. Instead of using Ubuntu like PopOS does today, Cosmic OS will be its own things with its own desktop environment written in Rust, a fast and modern programming language. The goal? More speed, more control and a better user experience. Cosmic OS will have a beautiful clean interface, a built-in tiling windows manager like PopOS does, and full support for Wayland, which means better graphics, smoother gaming and less screen chewing. It's designed for everyone, gamers, developers, anyone who wants a powerful, customizable system. It's not ready yet, but the first stable version should arrive sometimes in 2025. And honestly, it looks really exciting. And actually, it gives me some idea for some future projects. So now, I let you with three games I chose to test it out. You can see here that in BMG Nobara is better than PopOS, but uh, remember that uh, BMG isn't really Linux friendly, so it isn't really a good choice to test, but I wanted to see uh, what is was like, because I know other games work like BMG, uh, in backend, so I wanted to see if a uh, game like BMG uh, could work well like that, so yeah.
so as you can see here for Rotunder, um, PopOS wasn't really working with it. I had this crush error and I could do anything I wanted. Like I tr I've tried a lot of Proton version, but I always had this problem. Um, you can see that PopOS run the benchmark uh, better than Nobara sometimes, but remember, PopOS wanted to close War Thunder, so I don't know if it's really meant something, but sometimes the FPS are higher in PopOS than Nobara, but Nobara just work with War Thunder which PopOS doesn't, so you can make the conclusion you want with that, but I don't think PopOS is a good, op is a good option if you, if you pay what under. So here I've tried Doom Eternal, both work the same for Doom Eternal but because it is very well optimized for um, for Linux, so yeah, I just leave you with the gameplay because I think personally Doom Eternal has the best uh, opening in game industry since a lot of years. As you can see, we are again in BMNG um, because I wasn't very happy with the result I got uh, just before. So, PopOS has its usual freeze, but Nobara has a huge uh, FPS drop that it hasn't before. 
So I just wanted to to make some research why PopOS has that freeze, but now even Nobawa doesn't work with BeamNG. So I came to the conclusion that BeamNG isn't really make to run on Linux and I made some research and it needs a lot of patches and, and all uh, and it's really hard for for almost nothing so you can have higher FPS on PopOS but freezes sometimes and on Nobara you have less FPS but it doesn't freeze a lot so yeah it's hard to make a conclusion on this so <laughs> I I let you do yours So yeah, PopOS is very simple, not very hard to use, everything clicked up very well and fast. I was really happy of it, but now that I test it with some games, I will say Nobara is still better. As you can see in BeamNG, PopOS has the worst performance, but BeamNG isn't a good example because as I said, it isn't well optimized for Linux. We can see what under uh, didn't work well with PopOS either. I've tried many Proton versions and I've always had the same issue. Doom Eternal, I can't say anything because as I said, it, wa it is very optimized for Linux. So it depends on the game you play, but for the simplicity and compatibility, I'll say no power. I hope you enjoyed this video, I spend a lot of time doing it, so if you want me to make more content like that, say it in the comments, like, subscribe and see you in the next one.